just finished the shoot and now I'm on my way home but it, now it's a tornado warning and uh, <laughs> I gotta make sure I get home before all of that goes down so pretty nervous about that <laughs> guys so I got another one here I got another real estate shoot and this one's gonna be a tiny bit different and that's because uh, it's probably gonna take two days to shoot the house the weather is really bad right now it's not raining but it's about to it just it's so dark outside so I told the realtor she called me this morning I told the realtor that uh, I'm going to go ahead and go out there shoot the interior stuff and get those taken care of and then I can go back and I can uh, do the exterior stuff maybe tomorrow when the weather's a little bit better. And so uh, that's what I'm planning on doing. Ho if the weather actually holds out like it is right now, I might be able to do the exterior stuff and then just like do some Photoshop magic and put some nice skies and stuff like that in there. Uh, but most likely tomorrow I'll have to go back out and shoot the exterior stuff. So this one's gonna kind of be a little bit of a two day thing. Uh, so let's see how it goes. <music> the shoot very nice house very large house but I think it's gonna look good I can't wait to see how the photos turn out photos it's a lot better day today and a lot a lot brighter <laughs> might look a little more welcoming uh, and we'll see how these photos turn out I think they're gonna be all right yeah what a beautiful day it is outside man it's just uh, the weather's perfect uh, sun shining wish there was a little more clouds in the sky but sun shining uh, it's just a beautiful day uh, it's days like this when I wish it was full-time like I wish I could do full-time right this second because it's so beautiful outside uh, I'm doing what I love and that's kind of what we're getting to here and so hopefully this keeps continuing all right back at the house Let's get some more shots are back at the computer and I'm going to show you what happens after I take the photos and after I edit them because you kind of saw a time lapse of the edit. So what I usually do is uh, after I got them all edited I go through them and I five star all my favorites. So you can see all of these images here have five stars on them. So these are the ones that I'm going to deliver to the client. And so uh, what I'll do is I'll put them in their own collection as you can see over here in the library module. I have the collections panel open and I have a collection created with the address uh, for that particular property. So this is the address for that one there. And now what I'll do is I'll move these around. I've already done this part of it, but I'll move these around to where, you know, as you walk into the house, uh, you see each individual room. So obviously you have your front exteriors here. And then as you walk in, you got the, uh, the uh, foyer area here. And I'm just going to click on this view here. You got the foyer area. You got the uh, living room. And you keep going on and on and on and on and on. 
Uh, one real quick thing I want to note about this particular living room shot is uh, this was kind of difficult to shoot, mainly because, number one, the tall ceiling, so I couldn't do a bounce flash uh, very easily. Uh, but also, the guy couldn't find the uh, the remote to turn on the top light here. So all of the lights were on except for this top light, which kind of made the room a little dim. So I really had to rely on the, the window here, and it, it, it turned out okay. I wish it could be a little better. I wish that the lighting could be a little bit more dramatic, but that's what I had to go with. So uh, again, I'm, I, you got the living room, you got the kitchen here, and so on and so forth. This was all the downstairs. Uh, you got the piano room here, bathroom, master, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put all of those in order, and then I will go ahead and uh, I will go ahead and make sure they're all in their own collection here. And what I'm going to do is export them in uh, two different sizes for for my real estate agents. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Export. And as you can see, we have a real estate export preset here. And I actually have three here. I usually don't deliver the 660 by 440 just because it's so low res. Sometimes they do want it, but sometimes they don't. And so what I have is I, when I click on that, I have the uh, value set here. I got the resolution set here. Um, I do have to change the subfolder to the to the name of the uh, the property, kind of like I do the collection here. But these are the two sizes that I usually deliver. So I deliver the 18, uh, 1800 by 1200 at 220 PPI. Sometimes I bump that up to three, just make sure it's very high res. Uh, you know, the pixels are so small. Um, but then I have the 3600 by 2400. Usually they don't ever use this. Um, this is usually the best MLS size that I've found. Uh, but the 3600 by 2400 is the one that is mainly used for like print if they use them. Sometimes they actually do upload these, but it's very rare just because it takes a little longer to download. They're usually about uh, five to six megs each. Uh, so that takes a little bit longer to download. These usually go by pretty fast. So then once I'll do once I have that preset selected, I'll create a subfolder with the name of it and then I will go ahead and export and I'll uh, put those into Dropbox. Uh, so I'll take the two folders there, put them in a Dropbox and then send the Dropbox link to the client. All right, so little secret about that vlog. That vlog is actually almost uh, almost a month old, maybe actually older. And the reason for that is because at the end of this vlog, even though I've recorded a lot of other a lot of other clips, uh, this one was actually one of the last ones where I was working my full time job. Uh, I mentioned on the podcast a while back that this is actually um, this is actually the time when I'm I'm doing full time photography work. I'm doing the real estate stuff. I'm doing the stuff for Sleek Lens, uh, which I mentioned on the podcast, and uh, everything's working out great. So this is kind of uh, the end of the traditional road to full time. I'm still going to call it road to full time just because it's a catchy name. <laughs> but uh, this is kind of the end of the traditional road to full time. And it's going to kind of move into a uh, almost, almost a daily vlog. I don't know if it's going to be daily, but I really don't know what else to call it. But it'll be sort of a, a daily vlog with these sprinkled in there when I get some, when I get some jobs. Um, and also showing some of the behind the scenes work of what I'm doing daily for photography stuff. So I think it'll be kind of fun to see that. So I'm, I'm happy with this direction that it's going, uh, and I hope you guys will continue to enjoy it. And if you have any other things that you want to see, please let me know. I'm very happy to make any sort of video I can. Uh, this, this video stuff is actually really, really awesome, and I'm, I'm glad I have the option to do it. So uh, thank you guys for joining me in this vlog, in this road to full time, in this daily vlog, whatever it's going to be, and I'll see you in the next one.